It's time to choose the book for November, and we have three really great options for you to vote on. Option number one is The Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King. So Eyes of the Dragon is not your normal Stephen King book. He was inspired by his daughter to write this book because she either wasn't interested in any of his topics or she didn't feel comfortable reading like any of his books before he wrote this book. I also heard that like he wrote it because he read all of the stuff that her age group was reading and he was like, this is crap, I can do better. So gonna be super different than like what you're used to from Stephen King. Um, Story-wise, it's fantasy. It is about um, a kingdom where the king is murdered and his two sons um, have a power struggle and um, it's just about that. Option number two is The Last Wish by Andre Sapkowski. So The Last Wish is about a witcher, which is <laughs> a assassin, sorcerer, killer, basically. And there's- A sorcerer and a killer or a sorcerer killer? Sorcerer and assassin and killer. Okay. And their sole purpose is to kill the monsters of their world. Um, but not everything monstrous looking is evil and not everything fair is good. This book is a collection of short stories. It's part of a series, but the internet says that it can stand alone. This is also the series of books that the series of video games, The Witcher series, is based off of. Um, also, Netflix is supposed to be making a TV show that's supposed to come out this fall, but so very exciting. And so it's timely, especially if they actually come out this fall, which they're running out of time, but maybe. Option number three is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. In this book, at the very beginning of the story, three really huge things happen, all in increasing hugeness. I just don't want to spoil anything. Like this is the blurb that's on the internet, and so it like goes into detail. But if it were me, I wouldn't have wanted to know about it. So if you're interested, go read more. But I'll tell you a little bit more. The biggest of these huge things that happens is that every once in a while there is a like apocalyptic level event or like I guess human ending. Um, so the the again the biggest of the events is one of these things happen. So there's like a seismic activity that spews a ton of ash into the air, like enough ash to darken the skies for years or centuries. But the book follows the story of a woman who is kind of racing after her family and trying to like put things together and survive in this world where like bad things just happened. This book is a part of a series. Mm -hmm. It does end on kind of a cliffhanger. It's a trilogy. To my sources. Right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes. But um, it's been on my list for a while. I think it, it's a really good fit. If you are watching this on YouTube, you can click the I in the top right corner to vote. If you are watching this on Twitter or Instagram, the link will be in our bio, which will redirect you to the poll, which is on Facebook. If you're already on Facebook, lucky you. Be sure to like our page and join our group, The Literarily Wasted Lounge, where the poll will be posted.